there, how are you doing? Today I will show you how to play Long Gone by Poom Ripuret. I hope I pronounced it right this time. Uh, this song was requested by all these people, thank you all so much for your comments. Before we get into the video, I received quite a lot of questions from all of you which equipment I use. So I made this link to Amazon where you can find most of the stuff I use for my videos. Uh, there's not everything in there because not everything is available on Amazon. But yeah, check that link out if you'd like. You also help me out by checking the link out and all that. So that's quite nice for me as well. And I also have this video called My Gear where I will also put a link here which you can check out to see what gear I use. But I thought this would be a nice way to help you guys find it. Of course I'm going to show you how to play the chords. Uh, there are multiple guitar parts in this song really so I will first play the full song with really the most used strumming pattern and then I will also show you separately how to play the second guitar strumming pattern and also the riffs of the second guitar that you'll hear in the choruses and the outro. So I hope that will all be clear. So yeah that's what really will that's what I really will be doing in this video. Check out my Instagram if you'd like in the description and also feel free to suggest a new song. Don't forget to subscribe first. I also want to give a huge thank you to Juan for becoming a patron and also to Haitoa for his donation to my PayPal. Thank you so much for your support in this way. Yeah that's really it. Let's get into the song. So the song is just in standard tuning you don't have to use a capo or anything like that so we can go directly into the song.
Well, that's how to play the chords, of course. There are two strumming patterns really going on in the song, especially during the choruses and the intro. The first one is this that you have just seen. And the part that might be a bit difficult about that one is this. It's way more difficult than it looks like. You just, just have to hammer on really the E minor 7 chord like that and then just a single strum so you strum it really twice like that nothing too difficult the second strumming pattern that's going on really sounds like this I will show you which as well looks more difficult than this. What he's really doing the whole time is this. He's fake hitting the string, so. He does it like that. How to do that is really that you have to relax your left fingers really on the snares, and then you can just do this. You can just go up and down like this. And what he really does is at certain points, he, he really places his finger directly on the fretboard and then hits a note. So instead of resting them on it, he puts them on the fretboard really. So it goes like this. The first chord. Like that. And then he goes to the... So... You can also do it without the fake hitting really. So. But that might be a bit more difficult to time, so I do advise you to at least keep this going on. So. And then. So. which might be a bit more difficult. It looks a lot like the strumming pattern we already did. So it really goes like this. So. So there's really two, two hammer-ons going on and then one time hitting it like this. But again, try it a few times. The, the rhythm is really quite difficult. That's the thing that you will have most trouble with, I think. But just really listen closely to the other guitar and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Then there are also two riffs really going on in the song. The first one is this. plays the same thing twice but only at a different place what he really does is he again he do, uses this thing of going on the whole time but it's not necessary to to keep on fake hitting you can also do it like this instead of so but it goes like this And without the fake strumming, it really should sound like this. So. And over here, it's basically the same thing. Only the B, you play at a different spot. So, the first one's like this. And the second one is like this. Again, you can choose if you want to do it like... Or... Like that. You can choose by yourself. Then there's this last riff that really goes on.
like that which isn't too difficult it happens at the outro and yeah just look in the tabs it's not too difficult i'm sure you'll get the hang of it that's really everything i wanted to tell you i hope everything was clear thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you the next time